Okay, I wanted to share my first psychosis event, and it's connected to um, the secret space program and the ability to channel entities too. So, in August of 2019, I had a Reiki entombment, and for that whole week, I was I was going through a lot of different aspects of myself, um, fragments of my soul that was that was missing from my body, and um, I had this one experience. It was on a Sunday, and um, I. I was first off in my room, and it felt like my universe was like collapsing in on itself. It felt, it felt like energy was just like circulating into my body, and it was like ripping me apart. So it pushed, it pushed me into psychosis. So I ran to the guidance counselor, and um, it felt like. If I look as I was running down to the guidance counselor, it felt like if I looked back, the whole world was going to implode on itself. So I just kept running, and as I made it to the guidance counselor, I opened up the door. And when I opened up the door and closed it behind me, then it felt like a lot like this air pressure got released, and I was finally in a dimension that I was safe. So I started. I went to the lady that was in the guidance office and I'm like, listen, I need some help. And if I just talk to you right now, I think I could, could calm down myself. So she's like, she got up and, um, I was, I kept talking to her about how I, like, I'm just feeling like I can can like just need help with talking and then the cops showed up and this is this is the craziest part is right when the cops showed up i took this really deep breath in and then out and then i i like felt like a like an entity come into my own being and i took a seat back in my own consciousness and what it was funny because like the cops asked me my name and I, I just stood there for like a few seconds and I was just sitting on a chair and they're like, what's your name, sir? What's your name, sir? What's your name? And I finally, I like unleashed all my energy and then he tapped my chest with a flashlight and I said, my name was Michelangelo. And that wasn't me. That was like an entity that came into my body to protect me. And then, and then I started going more wild. And I said that I was gone for ten thousand years. And all these police officers, there was like five of them. I don't know why there were so many for a distress call of mental illness. But so I got up. And then they, they handcuffed me. So they led me to their police cruiser. And then that's like when the fireworks started happening. My back started shouting. Started screaming for like people that I used to know in my past, in my past history. Um, people that I met. Um, this chick named... Um, there were just some people that I was screaming for their names for, and then I thought that that's who they were, and I was just like in this like second state of of manic entity infestation, and um some black entity tried going up my back and tried taking over my body, so like I was like fighting these entities in the police. They threw me in the back of a police cruiser. And then I was getting images of being like a soldier in like a zombie apocalypse. And like I kept asking for a shot when I was in the police cruiser. I was like, all I need is a shot. And then, and then, um, I started going through, see, like my subconscious started blowing out. And I, I was like, I saw like Goku and like all these super beans came to my head and 
And then after that happened, I was just like on for a ride. And then I, just, I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then like my energy, like my back started getting all stiff. And like my Kundalini was super active. I was, I was, they call it Kundalini. I was going through a Kundalini syndrome event too while this was happening. And then all these entities were infesting me. So then the ambulance comes and they tell me to get on the bed. And I'm just like breathing heavy, trying to like keep my consciousness there. I, um, there was a point where I went into a tunnel in my third eye and I saw what I saw was I was, I was, I was leaving my body, but I held on, I held on to the point where I like, it, it like hurt to hold on, but I did it because I didn't, I didn't know if I left my body at that time that I would have been able to make it back. And so I just held on to dear life. I held on to my body to dear life and I wasn't going to let any force take me away. So, so what I saw when, when my spirit was, was leaving this, my body was, there was a, there was like a, a lake and there was trees that were like waiting for me. And I, I was in danger of losing myself completely like i was i almost died i almost left my body completely and and it was really scary to like experience that because i wasn't really prepared for that event and before i went through this experience before i went to the uh, to the guidance counselor they they even told me it's like where you're going you're not going to need shoes so i i literally just ran outside my door without shoes because i was told that i'm not going to to need them <laughs> and so these these spirits were telling me that you know, i wasn't going to need anything that i i they wanted me to leave my body and i i think i know why now i'm in such peril in this life now it's like really bad, but this is another story. But um, so after that experience, I was on the I was on the bed. They put me on, they transferred me onto the bed, and they put me into the ambulance. And this is where things really got interesting. Is when I was when they were transporting me to the hospital, I. I got, I got like body shocked, I guess my hands and my body just started shaking with electricity and it felt like someone was tasing my whole, my whole body and I like asked them to stop and they weren't, they didn't stop, it, it like it lasted for a good minute and then I saw Tesla, Nikola, Nikola Tesla came into my vision in my third eye and uh I, what i saw was a bunch of rows of androids all lined up in the, in a complex and there were people in these pods and that's like where i was they like put me into a pod to relax myself and they told me that if i went to sleep that things would get better and this was when i was being transferred to the hospital in in the ambulance and um all the nurse that was next to me that was assisting me i like started yelling at her telling her that we're gonna have the best sex ever and that that we're gonna have a good time so like, i was going through like a, a lifetime of mine that i was part of the secret space program and they had these pods for people and it's like where you sleep it's like i call it i, mean, I think it was like a stasis machine So when I got to the hospital, they, I was still like freaking out. Like I couldn't, I, I couldn't like control my body really well. And, um, well, I can control my, I couldn't control what I was saying. I couldn't control mine. So I said that I was a rock. I said that we were animals and that, and that we started to run and, um, And then when they were when they were transferring me from the ambulance to the hospital, 
I said that um I started shouting out binary code sequence, which I don't I don't know what that was. Like maybe I was reconnecting back to this matrix or something, but that was really weird. And um and then I started channeling like entities. I said that I was Gancha and um all these other like Hindu deities started coming out of my mouth and um Kumbaya I started singing Kumbaya my lord so that that was like an indicator that maybe that was the first song that was ever spoken on this world so when that was happening they they transferred me into a room and um about and then I said that everything was imploding and they needed to close the door because because like I thought the hospital was going to blow up and then the TV kept changing I noticed I was looking at the TV I'm like oh the TV is going to turn on the TV turned on and and I knew what channel it was going to be on too and it, like it turned into like the channel that I like it was it was weird like a lot of electromagnetic fields were being pump, pumped through in that room and um it took me a good 30 minutes after that to like finally like i woke out of that state and then i was back to normal and i normalized so that was my trip that was my first psychosis trip my first channel and it was a really interesting trip